now we come to a game called Remote Control. This features all four contestants playing each of them a different television programme. So you'd like to, to come down. The idea of this, I'll be flipping between channels and seeing the different programmes, but bizarrely discovering that each programme is dealing with the same general sort of topic. So can we think of it as a nice general topic that they might all be dealing with? Sheep shearing. Medicine. Sheep shearing. <laughs> yes, sheep shearing I think would just about do. Um, <laughs> Uh, it's a difficult one for you, though, I think. But, uh, Ryan, can you, you be doing a sort of a Jacques Cousteau-type programme? <laughs> uh, Sandy, uh, Body Matters. Uh, Tony, Jim will fix it. And John, The Sky at Night. So all those programmes... <laughs> all those programmes are dealing with uh, sheep shearing. Starting with you, please, Sandy. Hello. Does your body matter? Mine doesn't, as you can see. <laughs> but I brought into the studio today a sheep who's about to be sheared. So, a sheared sheep, their body's going to matter to them, because that's all that's going to be left. <laughs> We're going to nick. Tony. Well, as it happens, this uh, sheep uh, wrote in and said he wanted to change places for one day with the Duchess of York. <laughs> <laughs> and we did it, and no one noticed any difference. <laughs> And while the rest of the crew is in the water chasing the elusive ship shark, I shall be on deck mixing martinis for myself. Uh... John. Now, there's lots of theories that sheep might be on the planet Uranus. Unfortunately, it's not really true at the moment. Now, if you are going to see sheep on any planet at all, it's going to be Mars. Not this summer, not next summer, but perhaps 50 years before. Or from now. I'm going backwards and wearing a new suit. Tony. And we had a tragic letter, and this sheep was born with anthrax, and he wrote in to say, could he come on the show, and could we put him down? So that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> <laughs> um, Ryan. The unpredictable sheep shark suddenly turned on the crew. In a vicious attack, he began ripping legs, arms, noses, and ears. I was flabbergasted and began to start the engines for my quick getaway. <laughs> John. Now, sheep aren't often in the studio. Usually I speak to somebody from Mount Palomar or even Mount Rushmore. This week I do have Merino sheep. Hello, Bill. Now, I understand that when you first went to the asteroids, you didn't see any other sheep there. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, Sandy. We've got Joan Collins here. Yes, it's a bit of an example of mutton dressed up as lamb. Now... <laughs> Tony. Well, and the other thing, of course, Mavis, the, the little sheep, wanted to do was, uh, was make love with a clapped-out DJ. So we're going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Now, some people like to count sheep at night to help them get to sleep. What I do is I uh, climb up into the sky and put on a stick because I'm so mentally mad and everything in this very, very large, ill-fitting suit and I sing Gilbert and Sullivan early in the morning that I put on a large stick and planes and asteroids bang into my head all night long, which can cuss me to sleep. Good night. OK, that's in there. Thank you very much. Thank you.